hi, welcome. As you can see, this is a completely new layout for my uh, deck profiles on my channel. Now, if you're not aware, I do live streams now, uh, which is Yu-Gi-Oh based. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel below. Reason being is, is uh, I finally got a computer that I can work for this and I'm enjoying uh, streaming my remote duels and streaming other shit like my fucking like dueling book or my reaction to progression series which I'll be hopefully streaming on tomorrow or the day this comes out which depending on which day it is I'm recording this on the Monday progression series comes out on the Tuesday so I'm hoping to upload this tonight but if I don't I'll be doing the stream tonight it, basically Tuesday <laughs> Tuesday the week this comes out I'll be streaming me watching it right so without further ado here comes me doing a uh deck profile of this uh, deck. Uh, so this is post newest ban list. So if you haven't seen the newest ban list, click away. If you have seen the newest ban list, then congrats. You know what's coming. <laughs> so we're going to start with the main deck. Um, again, this is more sort of casual, so don't expect there to be like some really hidden text that really work well with the nitty gritty of how this deck plays. This is more a case of I, this is how I play it, it's fun, it kind of wins a lot of games if you play it correctly, so here we go. We got ourselves the one gazelle. Oh, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose, pollen. Oh. So we got the one gazelle with our triple spinning. Now obviously you're playing salad, of course you're going to run this combo. Like uh, Spinny and gazelle is basically a mainstay in any Salaman Great deck. I've heard of people playing more, less than free spinny, but I don't know why. So yeah, I'm just going to keep those at those uh, ratios. Next we have our triple foxy and our triple jack jaguar. Reason being is obviously foxy has a graveyard effect, plus it's normal summon effect is really nice. Uh, but it's mostly it's graveyard effect because it's able to re-summon itself. And obviously jack jaguar, same thing. It has an on built field effect. You never use that. You're more thinking, lol, I special summon this to increase my plays a bit longer. So yeah, Sanded is really good for like link climbing in that sense. Next we have two coyote and one mole. Now, the mole, it looks stupid. I agree. I agree it looks stupid, but this actually has saved my bacon once or twice. I've had a hand where I'm like, what do I do here? And then I've realized I can search and if I search something like Gazelle, it's it's good, but not great in that particular situation because I can't get multiple on board. But getting the mole on board uh, really helps. So yeah, weirdly, mole is actually kind of good in the deck right now, just for the link climbing aspect. Next, we're going to go into the consistency standpoint, which is the triple lady debug and the double flame buffalo. Flame buffalo, Basically, if this gets linked into Bay Links, you get to draw two. Um, and effect of Lady Debug is, oh, well, I summon this, I get a search. There's a reason Lady Debug was limited at one point. So having an F3 as a nice generic uh, cyber searcher is really good. Because you can get yourself into some good extenders that way. Next on the table is our one hand trap, which we're running double Ash Blossom. Reason being is, is you're tending to want to go first. If you go second, then you can just side deck going second stuff. But you tend to really want to go first with this deck. So Ash Blossom is a good generic negate. But that's, eh. I mean, I do have another hand trap, but it's not a spell uh, monster, if that gives away what the hand trap is. So for the hand trap section, like monster wise, Ash is good enough on its own, in my personal opinion. So that's how we're going to play that. You've just seen what the next card is, a single copy of Circle. I don't feel like I need to say why, but we're also running the triple sign at Mining. Again, I feel as if I shouldn't have to say why. <laughs> sign at Mining is just that good of a card, you kind of always want to see it, so three copies it is. <laughs> uh, double field spell i know people run one of it but i feel like running two of it's good because obviously then you get the second search of the mailing to deck thin a bit more also because this entire deck's uh, strategy bases around the field spell it's nice to have it uh at two so if they do somehow get past your field, first field spell you can pop uh, just drop the other one 
and still continue with your plays as if nothing had happened. Uh, double Fusion of Fire. Uh, reason being is it's a Sun of Angry card, so it's such more like Boxy's effect. Um, and it's kind of nice because it's uh, basically like a Super Poly for the deck. I mean, yeah, you can still run Super Poly, but obviously this is a searchable one, which goes in there into their very specific one. So, yeah, it, 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 it's the reason why you run that. Then, double recurrence. Is it recurrence? It, I think that's how it's, what it's saying, anyway. Uh, reason you run uh, recurrence at two is the sheer fact of it's just a add to hand effect. So, say I've got Gazelle Engraved, but I've already used Sunlight Wolf's effect to, I don't know, give myself back my spinny for whatever reason. I can now use this spell card to add the uh, Gazelle. Or I could use it to recur the links from the graveyard to reuse them as uh, link materials for their effects. Which actually frees up some extra deck uh, room just because you're running there. So it's actually really nice. So I run uh, two of that. And then final for spells is double will of the Sandman Great. Reason being is again just recurrence. Being able to go okay I don't really have a good normal summon play. But I have a really good special summon play. Uh, will the Sandman Great would get you the special summon. Plus you have from graveyard you can use. Plus from hand you could use. So... Yeah, well, the Sun of Great really helps with that. Uh, next, you'll see you have your Triple Roar and your Double uh, Rage. Uh, roar at 3 because it's the best trap in the deck. And Rage at 2 because it's a good trap. Not necessarily the best, but it's one that you can get off of like uh, Sunlight Wolf's effect. So, it's not terrible. You know, it gets you 2 interruptions instead of the 1 off of the trap effects. And for our final trap triple imperm because as I said I had room for three hand uh, six hand trap uh, five hand traps and I was thinking uh, triple imperm plus double ash is the way to go because obviously you're tending to try to go first which means trying to put in um, your Nibiru's and whatnot even though they're quite good in this format is here I would recommend instead of the ashes um, go with uh, droll Maybe take out another card to get yourself a place at a draw because that's really good this format. But obviously, I don't know how good it is now because obviously, the new ban list. Again, no spoilers, but yeah, although to be fair, I'm about to give you a spoiler. Uh, so, for extra deck, we're going to go with Violet Chimera. Violet Chimera at two because, again, it has an effect if it summons itself using itself. So, you always basically, you always want to run two of the Salaman Greats where you can. Uh, just for their recursion effect. Also, this is, a, as I said, it's a nice super poly target. So if your opponent has like a really troublesome link, you could just uh, fusion of fire it into the, a, a, like a fucking uh, Violet Camara, which is quite nice. Uh, for our 1XEs, Mirage Stadio. Yeah, we got my Mirage Stadio back in the ban list. So uh, he's looking quite beefy. I don't think I even slightly need to explain why we're running the single copy of this. It's so good. It kind of makes the deck uh, a lot more... Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. It, it basically makes it a lot more consistent, plus it also kind of gives you extra recurrence, because obviously if you use a spinny to make the Mirage Stadio after you use spinny's effect, the spinny technically when it goes to Graveyard does not banish because it's uh, not leaving the field technically, because it's already left the field to become an Axis material. So, yeah, Mirage Stadio is actually really good for that reason. Running the one-hour Mirage, I, I I, don't think I've ever summoned it in this deck, like, ironically enough. I've played this deck for about a week now. I've played it a little bit here and there. I've never once summoned our Mirage, so... Ironically, I was thinking of taking out the Al Mirage for the Mirage Stadio, but in the end, I decided to take out an Avram, Avramax, because... I, again, it's another card that I never really see. So, mm. uh, next we have Triple Balinx. Reason for the Triple Balinx is obviously why not? Uh, it searches out your field spells. Plus, if you do try to U Link, which is technically possible in this deck, you could uh, Balinx both sides, making it so your opponent cannot special summon uh, a Link monster at all, which is quite nice. Uh, plus also the protection effect is really nice. So yeah, free of that. Uh, double Sunlight Wolf. Uh, because you constantly put that back into your extra deck. Uh, so you can keep recurring its uh, recursion effect. 
which is really nice. Plus, its effect on just when something's summoned on it is really good too. So, it's got a lot of um, little nitty gritty bits that make it good at two, but I wouldn't say it's great at three because obviously at three you're just giving up spaces for other cards for basically the same thing, which you can just recur using other effects like uh, Jack Jackalope or Recursion itself. So, it's not exactly a card that I'd run at three. Same with uh, Heat Leo. It's good. It's good to get the recursion off of it, but I wouldn't call it a. Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't call it a go to three card because obviously, again, you can just keep recurring the card. Why would you uh, use multiple copies of a card you can recur? Next is a link. The link for Pyro Phoenix at two. Again, it's one of those cards where. It's really good. It's not easy to summon. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, sure, this deck, deck, this deck may link climb, but by then you've already used your recursion. Plus, as I said, you're going first, so you don't really want to go into Pyro Phoenix on your first turn. You tend to go into it on your second turn to just wipe the board. So it's good for that reason, and obviously you still run it at two for that reason, but I, I don't think it's worth running it at three. Running it at three is... It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all for that reason because obviously you can just keep recurring it. Next, we're going with <laughs> a ratted firewall, not pre rat I know, obviously, I'm using the secret. It's a rat, not the errata yet. But we haven't had a reasonable printing of the errata since the errata. Like, we've had ghost rat and ultimate rare. We're not getting our hands on the errata really easily for a while, so. I thought I'd just pick up a secret rare of the original print and then just uh, have on hand the uh, errata text, which obviously Firewall Dragon is nuts, <laughs> even with the errata. So yes, yes, you do want to run your single copy of uh, Firewall. I wouldn't run more than one, personally. I, I, I've heard of, again, I've heard of people run more than one uh, Firewall, but I don't see the point in it because by the time you get firewall on the board you're basically like shooting for game at that point so it doesn't really matter and then for the finale a single Sayuya because again you could just decide okay I've got four monsters on board I, I just need a better hand than what I've already got so you decide to you know go into the uh, Sayuya so that's it that's the uh that's the Salaman Great with uh, a rat, uh, with ban list. Reason uh, for this video was a to test my setup and b I kind of want to make a deck list before anyone else did on the uh, new ban list version of uh, Salaman Great. Obviously, more than likely not because it dropped when I was at work, so I had to then work on uh, work out where I'm going to put the Mirage Stadio, work a little bit on the main to make it sort of work around Mirage Stadio. But other than that, that was it. So. Yeah, no, this is a really fun deck. Uh, I've played around the uh, played around with the Mirage Stadio uh, variant a tiny bit. It, it it's it's ended on some pretty nice boards, um, but you know, it's as I said, it's mostly for fun. I'm not going to expect you to do really well with this deck, but uh, I expect you to have fun with it. That that's what my channel is about. That's what even my Twitch streams are about. We just have fun with the game, so. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be uploading this to my YouTube channel as soon as I can, whether it be tonight or tomorrow. And I will see you for the Progression Series stream uh, on the Tuesday. Uh, and as said, link to my Twitch will be down below. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys do come in. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night or morning or day or whatever you're having. Have a great one. Ta-ta.